Uh, clear takeoff, uh, clear display, winds 34014 knots. The extras now from DHL are airborne. The lead aircraft is an extra 200, which today is flown by Adrian Willis. And the second aircraft is a more powerful extra 300, which is piloted today by Chris Burkett. Adrian's aircraft is the two-seat aircraft with the red spinner. And he is followed by Chris, who is flying a more powerful aircraft, as I mentioned. And Chris is now positioned inverted on Adrian. And Chris is flying the aircraft with the blue spinner today. See a very nice uh, line of rest at stall turn has been executed by the two extras. Kick now! Boot full of rudder rotating around the centre axis of the cockpit. Not a lot of speed on the clock coming back down towards us. Break! Break! Go! They're very tough aircraft. Plus and minus 10G. Ugh. So now we should see, this is uh, Adrian, I think we're looking at here, who's pulling up into the uh, opposition pass at the end of a reverse half cube. And now Chris will be tucking in very tight behind Adrian for the commencement of their very spectacular close formation display. Uh, normally both of these aircraft are based in the UK, and uh, Adrian and Chris are both heavily involved in uh, competition aerobatics in the UK. And Adrian is, in fact, a fully qualified UK flying instructor and aerobatics examiner. Very, very tight, having rejoined back up. 757 is lurking down to the south, waiting for the extras to go down and join him. But that's a very commendable pulling up again. You can see some very nice uh, lines, the very uh, vibrant colour scheme of the DHL corporate colours on these two extra aircraft. And Chris is now positioned very close uh, to Adrian, and you can see Chris is concentrating very hard indeed to maintain his position. Very splendid colours of DHL, the yellow and the red. Of course, DHL, one of the sponsors of the show, so without their help, it would have made it more difficult. So if you... When you get back to your, your boss, Ralph, if you could say thank you for the, the assistance there. I certainly will. I know the message will be very much appreciated by all the people who have put in a lot of hard work to make all of the logistics organisation come together for the show. And it has been our pleasure to help out uh, everyone we've been able to do so. Now, DHL's got a big base here, isn't it, in Bahrain? Uh, yes, we do. It is the main regional hub for the Middle Eastern and uh, Africa region with the business headquarters as well as the uh, airline operating division. Um, we have uh, 10 aircraft we operate uh, fully out of Bahrain for the regional network. And in addition, we have the major intercontinental traffic arriving with up to eight aircraft a day arriving through uh, 777s and 747s, bringing all the intercontinental traffic in towards the Gulf. So the sort of network you're operating out here, you've got flights continuously, is it? 24 hour day That operation? is correct. We, on average, are running around 110 flights a day. And uh, most of the uh, distribution from the Bahrain hub is through into the GCC countries. Uh, we do a, a lot of work into uh, Saudi Arabia. And then at the moment, we have a very successful Doha and Dubai route with uh, a regular daily service into Kuwait as well. And now you can see with barely two meters of separation as they pass over the top of the loop, the concentration of Chris will be uh, very extreme at this point in time. This should be positioning down to the final element of the dual display, which will be a vertical climb into a humpty bump manoeuvre. And I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, that is the uh, correct name for this manoeuvre. Go! Adrian will push away in a positive sense, and then that will be followed by Chris, who will be pushing away over the top in a negative sense. see Chris showing off the more powerful extra 300 to its most and you see a number of maneuvers here where Chris utilizes the very high strength of the aircraft to allow him to tumble the aircraft in a very unnatural looking aerodynamic maneuver. Climbing into a torque roll so at the moment 
Chris is pointing uh, straight up towards the sky and letting the aircraft slow down all the way. And now the rotation, you can see, is just caused by the torque of the engine. And now he uh, falls backwards in the reverse line. And then he will now pull out again into a climbing and vertical jump. Once again, showing a very spectacular forward tumbling maneuver there. And as Chris now completes his display with his knife edge, Chris is now departing off to the south to join Adrian. And they will then be looking to join the 757, which we can now see to the left of everyone on the crowd line today. 57 turning inbound, 1,000 feet, commencing descent to 500 now. Looking to our left along the crowd line, we can see the DHL Boeing 757 in the distance. And this is one of the 15 aircraft that we have dedicated to our airline operation in the Middle East, out of Bahrain. We can see the extras have formated onto the 757. And this is the first time at any air show in the world this display formation has been demonstrated. And the extras will now be maintaining a position approximately five meters either side of the 757 wing. And the 757 today is approximately 100 times heavier than the two small extras that are formating onto its side. As we see the extras now returning swiftly for a landing onto the main runway, the 757 will now enter its demonstration routine. And the 757 today is flown by Captains Chris Rabi and Captain Roger Ware. And at the moment, the aircraft will be configured in its uh, initial approach to landing configuration, and it will be flying at approximately 140 knots, or not too far off, but 190 to 200 kilometers an hour. And normally, this is the configuration that uh, would be used as it comes in towards a landing. Although the aircraft does have a very extensive and capable autopilot, uh, today the display is being entirely hand flown by the pilots, and it demonstrates a very stable and very easy to fly platform that the Boeing 757 is. And along with uh, the aircraft we have displaying here today, which was uh, manufactured in 1984. We have four aircraft of the 757s all working out of Bahrain in the Middle East on the daily services for DHL. And we will in those aircraft carry anything from uh, everyday letters, letters and parcels right up to anybody's uh, large freight consignments. Uh, and the majority of our business in the Middle East is our uh, overnight express guaranteed time delivery. And we maintain approximately 9 million shipments a year, of which 5 million are our time-dependent deliveries. Since being converted to a freighter in 2007, the aircraft now has a 33-metre-long main cargo deck, which can accommodate up to 32 tonnes of cargo. And now looking once again to our left, Chris is accelerating the aircraft into a uh, higher speed fly past, and now utilising the high thrust of the 757 at this fairly light weight. It will be accelerating to a speed of approximately 290 knots down the runway. And I hope you can see that for a public transport airliner, this is a very nice and spectacular high-speed run. And that completes the end of the DHL display team for today. And it has been our pleasure to display and talk to you today. And I hope you've all had a very enjoyable display from us. Extra formation is shutting down.